To determine the tools necessary for the disassembly of your specific pump configuration, please refer to your Pump Engineering Operation and Maintenance Manual. To begin disassembly, remove the discharge manifold fasteners using the appropriate tools. Once all fasteners have been removed from the discharge manifold, lift the manifold off of the pump. This will expose the valve balls and the valve seats. At this time, you may inspect the balls and seats for damage and or wear. Next, remove the liquid chamber to inlet manifold fasteners in the same manner as was used on the discharge. For safety purposes, it may be necessary to utilize a lifting device or additional manpower to remove the liquid chamber and center section assembly. You may now inspect the inlet valve balls and seats. Next, lay the center section on its side and remove the liquid chamber to air chamber fasteners. Once the fasteners are removed, lift the liquid chamber from the center section. With the remaining liquid chamber securing the opposite side diaphragm, use a long adjustable wrench to loosen and remove the outer piston. One of the following two scenarios can happen. The outer piston will break free from the shaft and be removed individually along with the diaphragm, or the outer piston and main shaft assembly will remain as one unit and will loosen together. If this happens, use a twisting motion to remove the shaft from the center block bore. Next, remove the air valve assembly by removing the four Allen head cap screws. With the air valve removed, you may inspect the air valve spool by removing the end cap from the large end of the air valve body. Use one of the air valve fasteners and the end cap as a tool to easily remove the air valve spool from the air valve bore. Once the air valve spool is removed, inspect the spool seals for damage and heavy scoring. Please note, the air valve spool should not be left out of the bore for a prolonged period of time as the polyamide cap seals have energized o-rings underneath them. These cap seals can swell and may be damaged upon reassembly. Apply a generous coat of lithium-based grease to the air valve spool seals during reassembly. To inspect the pilot spool, you must first remove the pilot sleeve assembly from the center block bore. First, remove one of the two external snap rings using snap ring pliers. Using a deep socket with a smaller diameter than the pilot sleeve bore, gently tap the pilot sleeve assembly out of the end where the snap ring was removed. To inspect the anti-double shift o-ring and the pilot spool seals, you will need to remove the retaining o-ring on the opposite side of the small indentation at the end of the pilot spool. You may now remove the pilot spool from the sleeve. Removing the spool in this fashion will prevent damage to the anti-double shift o-ring. If the spool has been immobile for a prolonged period, a compression set may cause the spool to stick in the bore. A light tap on a solid surface will free the spool. The pilot spool cap seals are not available for individual sale and should not be removed. Inspect the main shaft glide rings and replace them if they are worn. Please note, once the glide rings have been removed, they become damaged and may not be reused.